Hey guys, welcome back and this is Dilmer again and today I'm really excited because I'm going to continue the videos with Oculus Quest. In this video I'm going to show you how you can actually use the Oculus Link cable to connect it to the Unity Editor. So I'm going to do what you can kind of see behind the scenes, which I can now move my hands. So if I wanted to interact with an object, let's say that I wanted to pick up that cube, I can pick up the cube and then basically throw the cube if I want to do that. So the cool thing with this implementation is I can do it all through the editor. And if I go around, you can kind of see that there's a lot of cubes. I'm also using physics to be able to do that. So everything works. Hand tracking works completely in the Unity editor. So I'm going to show you how and what did I do to make that, basically to make that possible. Thank you guys. All right, guys, so I want to show you some of the packages that I have and also the updates that I did to the Oculus integration. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to go into a window. We're going to go ahead and open up the asset store. Then in the asset store, I go ahead and search for Oculus. And as soon as we find Oculus, we're going to be clicking on it. Now, what I want you to check is the version that I, that I already have. I downloaded the version 16, which is the one that works with the Unity Editor and the Link Cable, and also the one that is dated April 27, 2020. So if you download that and update it, it should work with what I'm about to show you. But also go into Window, and then we're going to go into the Package Manager. The Oculus XR plugin that I have installed is 133, so make sure you have that. And then the other component that is important for this video, it's going to be the XR plugin management. This one is key because if you don't have these, the basically you won't be able to run in link link cable mode, which is you know Oculus trying to run with the with the regular Oculus Rift desktop application. So go ahead and make sure that you have that version. The one that I have is 3.2.6. Close it, and then we're gonna go and check one more thing. So go into build settings. And make sure that you have the PC, Mac, and Linux standalone selected. I did x86-64, because that is the architecture that I have right now. And I'm also running in Windows, just by the way. And then go into Player Settings. Then go into XR Plugin Management. If you don't see these, you know you probably don't have the version, the correct version. So go, go ahead and pause the video, go back, make sure that you have the right version. But on the Windows side and Mac and Linux side, go ahead and check the Oculus option. So once you do that, things are going to start to work. That's what I was missing when I when I was testing. And then the other thing that I also have is in the Oculus. Once I load it, that plugin provider, I have this option set. Once you get all that going, that's basically everything that you need to do. I have this project, and this project has a lot of different scenes that you can that you can test. So this one is the one where I'm basically using URP with the different shaders that I created with Shader Graph. So you can also look at all the other scenes that I have. So this is the one that I have selected right now, which is the button scene. You can also look at cubes and balls. So this has different physics elements that you can interact with your hands. You can also look at effects. These ones have different effects that are applied through the volume. So such as post-processing effects like film, grain, and the chromatic variation. And then, you know, different scenes, just a variety of things. I'm also testing how Visual Effects Graph works with URP, so in this case I'm testing that as well. And also this one basically follows your hand and VFX Pixels is another scene that I credit for to test hand tracking. So I'm going to be putting the basically the link and I'm going to be pushing the changes that I have right now. So you guys are more than welcome to download it, clone it and test it on your own Unity version. And if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. Thank you.